absolutely. So we, we talked about you know cluster, but now let's talk about replicating data, data to the cloud, data to another site, you know, for disaster recovery, uh, for disaster recovery purposes. Uh, so yeah, how, how easy is that to do with object storage and, and why is it easy to do with object storage? It, it, it's actually fairly easy to do with, with object storage and, and it's typically done through, through what we call a feed mechanism, AJ. And, and there are two types of feeds that we can deal with for, for this requirement. There, there's the replication feed that allows you to replicate data from one object storage cluster to another. Uh, we also have the, the S3 feed mechanism that allows us to, to copy or replicate that data uh, up to, you know, for example, Amazon S3, right? And, and you can have it available in the cloud as a result for, for disaster recovery purposes. And, and what we're showing here is, is just the, the UI console for you know, what it would look like if you, if you were looking at this in, in our UI, you know, what the statistics for, for the uh, example here, uh, a feed would look like. Yeah, and here you, you can do it to a, a different swarm site, different um, you know, site, or you can also do it to S3, the, the, the service, correct? Or, or any S3 enabled device. But yes, basically any uh, S3 target. In fact, one of the ways we've tested this, AJ, is, is we, we tested this against another swarm cluster that was uh, providing an S3 endpoint. And, and we're able to use our own S3 endpoint to, to do it this way as well. So it's, uh, it's uh, kind of neat to, to watch it work. But yeah, any, any viable S3 endpoint, you'd have the capability to, to use this method as well. Yeah, and some that we see out there in the field, we, we point them out, it's not just Amazon S3 or any one of the flavors of, of Glacier, uh, the service that they have. Uh, there's also services like Wasabi or Fujifilm Object Archive, which is a tape archive. So you know, there, there's, there's a lot of different options from a, from a feed or replication perspective. But how, how complex can you get with those replication topologies, John? Here's just an, an example here. Right. Uh, the, the replication topologies we support, uh, for, for lack of a better way to describe it, is, is an M to N mapping. We, we can do it in that fashion. And, and you see examples of that here uh, in these diagrams. So, for example, on the left hand side, uh, we have uh, three clusters, A, B, and C. They, they are all replicating data to, to on-prem object, you know, to, to the mothership, we like to call it, you know, or, or, or maybe the central office. But, but cluster A also has the added requirement that I want, I want to push that out to a, a, a cloud service provider S3 endpoint, such as Wasabi or AWS, or perhaps I want to push it out to uh, a tape endpoint that provides a, an S3 uh, interface, such as Fujifilm. You know, they, they want to protect it further uh, in that fashion. And, and you, have, you have the capability of, of setting it up in that way and having them all run simultaneously uh, once those feeds are defined. It'll, it'll, it'll replicate that data automatically to, to the targets that you designated in the feed definition. Uh, you also have the capability to, to do an initial replication, let's say, to uh, another cluster and then perhaps, uh, you know, temporarily, quote unquote, air gap or shut down access uh, to that cluster, or even just you know, uh, pause that feed in cluster C, and 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 then perhaps shut down the access in some other method. And at that point, you have a logical or or even a, perhaps even a physical air gap for the data that was replicated from cluster C to that cluster at, at a given point in time. And that that comes in really handy uh, if you want to protect against things like ransomware attacks and 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 so on, where where you can make absolutely sure that. There's no way for anybody coming in and issuing deletes to objects, you know, because usually that's what happens, right? You have a, you have a, 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 a delete portion of, of, uh, of people, you know, putting your data under hostage. And uh, this prevents that from happening and allows you to be able to recover it from that, that one cluster that's been gapped away from everybody else. 